Hello YouTube. I just got a handle from Hutzel for a project I'm getting ready to do. I've, I've, I've got an MS660 engine that I've had for about a year and it's not doing me any good um, just sitting there so um, I'm, I'm collecting the parts to uh, you know uh, build another saw and I got the handle uh, from Hudsel today along with some other parts and I thought we'd do a um, um, a pressure test uh, I feel like that's the first thing you need to do um, because when you get into your build and, uh, you need to uh, you need to know and it's easier to work with this thing whenever it's, it's you know uh, not attached so uh, what I notice is that the uh, uh, the vent I believe is uh, is changed. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, vent used to be like this. They got a duct bill in there. Valve and uh, so what they've got on it now is like this. So let's see if there's an improvement on that. We don't want it leaking fuel or anything dramatic. So I'll take the nipple and put it in the fuel hose. Okay. And now the the cap uh, doesn't come on it, but in order to do the test, you, know, you, you need to uh, close it off. So you've got to put your cap on. And that'll also tell you if the cap is tight, you know, if it's, it's leaking and so forth. So that's part of the fuel system. So that needs to be in place. So what we'll do is... Uh, We'll put a little pressure in it and we're going to see if, if the pressure will hold. Uh, that'll test the fuel line, the fuel filter, the fuel cap, and the seams on the tank to make sure that um, it'll hold. So let's do that now. So I'll put a little, little pressure on it. And we'll watch it for a second. And it's holding beautifully. That's what we want. Okay. Now we'll test the vent. We'll do that by put, putting the, uh, the pump on um, vacuum. On most of them, that's just uh, uh, pulling this forward or backward to go from pressure to vacuum. Let me use my words. Okay, now what we want on this is we want to see it. We want to see the pressure, the needle um, fall. It doesn't have to fall fast. But it needs to fall, and it's falling. I see movement. I'm sorry, that wasn't in camera angle. Okay. 
going down very slowly. Okay, and that's what we want. So this has passed um, all the tests, and uh, so it's ready to be put to use. Another thing I noticed on this handle is the uh, action of the uh, um, the trigger here and, and the uh, the control. It's so much better. Um, your different positions are more pronounced on it, and I'm comparing it to the to um, I I bought one of the you know earlier kits, and um, we had to uh, kind of trim it up and fool with it, you know, um, to get it to stay in the. Uh, you know the warm position and uh, you don't have to do it on this one so that's that's wonderful and another thing that um, I'm, I'm going to do starting on this build is um, here forward um, I've got a uh, 5 millimeter uh, 0.8 uh, die and uh, I'm going to I'm going to clean these up each time I get them. I think just in the manufacturing process, um, you know, they get a little uh, a little dinged up, and uh, this makes it bright again, so that when you put your nuts on there, uh, that they start and uh, uh, tighten up easily. Because uh, these are set in plastic, so you know if you torque it and you, you know you manhandle it, uh, you're going to you're going to be sad because uh, you're going to run into trouble. Um, I, uh, but it's a it's a good quality handle. I I think it's actually improved. Um, I mean, you know, all the plastic was always great, so uh, I'm I'm glad. Oh, they've done a good job. Uh, Farmer Tech seems to care about what they do. Alright guys, uh, hope you find this beneficial. Thanks.